Hello, this video is to show you how coastal oceanography is a support to technical experts, coastal engineers, policy makers and all those people whose activities are concerned with the coastline for coastal protection and maintenance. New modeling tools based on high resolution and structured grid modeling exploit their efficiency at handling complex coastlines while not neglecting the large scale processes and help to supply coastal forecasting. In particular, we present here the Southern Adriatic and Northern Ionian Coastal Forecasting System, SANIFS, an operational system providing high resolution, short term forecast with a focus on the Apulia region of Italy. The operational chain is based on a downscaling approach starting from the large scale model for the Mediterranean Sea, the Mediterranean Forecasting System, MFS, which provides the open sea fields. And this is the area considered. Now, what does coastal situation awareness mean? First of all, coastal situation awareness improves the awareness and the knowledge of the coast environment integrated in the observing systems, also in real time, with the operational modeling. Many human activities are concentrated in coastal areas, where traditional resources-based activities such as coastal fisheries and aquaculture coexist with urban development, port traffic and tourism. The management of such a complex area at the interface between land and ocean environments requires the four numerical modeling and predictive capabilities that are now possible due to the availability of large-scale ocean forecast and analysis used to initialize the coastal models, the downscale and increase the accuracy of the forecast near the coast. Furthermore, ocean operational forecasting contributes greatly to an understanding of the ocean dynamics, as well as providing an efficient support tool for marine environmental management. A high resolution operational forecasting system could also contribute to making decisions for mitigation of natural hazards in coastal areas, such as storm surge events, and minimizing the potential negative impacts on a wider range of coastal and maritime facilities, reducing the damages to coastal communities. Coastal high resolution modeling variables can be used for the development of specific decision support systems for the coast and harbors in order to produce applications and services in the field of maritime safety and climate impact assessment in coastal areas. Among all the possible decision support systems that could be developed for addressing coastal issues, here we focus on two of them, a decision support system for the coast and a decision support system for the harbors. The products and services needed for the two decision support systems are different. For the cost, for example, we may need meteoceanographic forecasting, assessment of erosion phenomena, waves and wind regimes, estimation of future scenarios of coastline, etc. And for the decision support system for Arbor, we may need meteoceanographic forecasting, assessment of weather exchange and sediment accumulation, services for navigation safety, estimation of downtime intervals, etc. The coastal forecasting system for the Apulia region, named as NFS, integrates then two types of data. From the Copernicus Marine Environment Monitoring System, the temperature, uh, the salinity, the currents and the sea surface height and from the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast, the atmospheric parameters such as mean sea level pressure, cloud cover, 2 meter relative humidity, 2 meter air temperature, and 10 meter zonal and meridional winds components. SANIFS uses an adopted approach to reach the coastal areas, and this is obtained by two methodologies. First, downscaling, from oceanographic to coastal scales, and then a suitable modeling components with the unstructured grid model. The high resolution meteo marine coastal forecasting system uses the products of ocean fields at very high spatial temporal resolution for the Apulia marine and coastal areas and the meteorological forecasting products provided by the Italian Met Office and made available by CMCC. 
Downscaling techniques are the preferred methodology to propagate open ocean dynamics into higher resolution nested models through initial and boundary conditions. In this case, the downscaling was performed starting from the Mediterranean scale through a one-way nesting approach with the Mediterranean Forecasting System MFS numerical model here, that you see here. The nested and structured grid system was built on a higher resolution than MFS, both horizontally and vertically, over the entire open ocean and coastal domain. Unstructured grid and downscaling approaches were incorporated to build the very high resolution operational system of SunFS, which is constantly developed and which produces a short term forecast. The SunFS forecasting system is based on the SHIFM model, which is a 3D finite element hydrodynamic mode solving the Navier Stokes equations by applying hydrostatistic and Boussinesque approximations. In the coastal waters of the eastern Italian coastlines, the model has a high spatial resolution, generally reaching an element size of 500-100 meters, with further refinements in specific areas, for example the Margrande of Taranto, Brindisi and Bari, where the resolution reaches 20 meters, especially at harbor scale. In the open ocean areas, the horizontal resolution is approximately 3 to 4 km, with respect to the 6 to 7 km of the parent model. We now see some examples of the circulation of TAIN with the SIFS model in different areas. For example, in Gallipoli, in the Margrande of Taranto, in Brindisi area, in the Otranto area, again in front of Gallipoli and in front of Taranto. In this picture, you can see the improvement of the model SIFS. The downscaling technique and the numerical settings adopted during the implementation phase make the system stable and robust and allows short-term simulations at three different scales, from the large to shelf coastal to coastal and arbor. The strength of the SNFS was demonstrated at the coastal arbor scale, where the system has a higher horizontal resolution, up to 20 meters. All these features allow to increase the accuracy of the forecast near the coast. A further application of the modeling capabilities seen up to now is the inclusion into a decision support system for coastal areas, which starts from the data such as in situ data, the data from the model and the satellite data. Then the technology platform processes this data through a technology infrastructure that distributes them to the users by multi-channel devices like tablet, smartphone or a PC to customize applications and services for general public and special users. In these slides, there is an example of a DSS web portal for the cost. The field show the sea temperature in the Apulia region in Italy from the SunFS model, like this one this one and this one. SANFS and the decision support system incorporating it is one of the possible examples of the scaling applications that may allow to provide better forecast near the coast and to support coastal human activities. Thank you for watching.